Hey, I'm Sue and welcome back to The Art of Flavor. I'm loving the hot weather and going to my local coffee shop for my iced coffee, but I'm not loving the price tag. We're gonna make a cold brew. It's easy to make at home. For all you coffee drinkers out there, you're gonna love this recipe. Are you ready? Let's get started. Let's get started with our cold brew. It's refreshing, it's cold with low acidity. I'm gonna get my coffee grinder. Grinder? I'm gonna get my coffee grinder. You can grind uh, your coffee at your market or your coffee shop, wherever you buy your beans. Make sure it's medium coarse, or you can ask for the coarseness for French press coffee. That's the grind you want. I've got one liter of water, that's four cups. You need a two liter jar, because once you add your water and all your coffee grounds, it's going to expand. I already have some of the coffee grinds I need. You need in total two and a quarter cups. It sounds like a lot, but it's what you need for that bold, smooth flavor. I've got most of my coffee grinds here. I'm just gonna need my quarter cup. That's pretty much it. Okay, and that's more than I need. I call for a liter or four cups of filtered water. If you have it, if you don't, just room temperature water. And you're gonna slowly pour it. You want to give your coffee grinds time to absorb the liquid. So I'm gonna stir it because you want to hydrate everything properly. So you've got your liquid and you've got your dry coffee grinds on the top. So I want to make sure everything is properly hydrated, okay? That's it. I'm gonna let it sit at room temperature for 12 hours that I'm going to strain it through a cheesecloth lined sieve. And that's your cold brew, be right back. I've grabbed my cold brew. It's been steeping at room temperature for about 12 hours and you can go up to 15. Some people like it up to 20 hours. It really depends on the level of acidity and smoothness and uh, boldness that you desire. I love 12 hours at room temperature and that's my cutoff point. I'm gonna grab a sieve and this is a very large measuring cup because that's what I have. And I just don't want the bottom of my sieve to touch the bowl. That's all you want. And a square of cheesecloth. So I really just don't want to um, disturb the mixture too much. I'm gonna slowly pour it. Okay, you don't wanna press your coffee grounds because that's going to um, extract all the oils in the coffee and that's where you get the bitterness from. I'm just going to evenly disperse it so that it naturally drips down and I'm gonna see how much I have, okay? And if you've ever used cheesecloth, usually you press it, whatever you're extracting. This is not the time you do it. So it's still dripping. You should have three cups. I'm gonna let it drip, drip, get all that liquid gold there. And then I'm gonna pour it into a jar and refrigerate it and that's it. This is a great way of making a coffee drink at home for those who don't wanna make it every day. You've got a beautiful gourmet cold brew at home. I'm gonna refrigerate this for about seven days. I like it at seven days maximum, but it can be up for 10 days. You're looking for a smoothness, low acidity level, somewhat floral, and that's cold brew. And next we're gonna flavor it with our beautiful caramel and vanilla. I need about half a cup of cold brew. Half a cup, where are you? Where are you? It doesn't seem like a lot, but again, this is a concentrate, so we want to dilute it. I'm going to grab a beautiful glass and ice. For those who love waiting in line to order a deliciously sexy cold brew, this is the easiest way and a budget-friendly way to make it your way with our flavors. Okay, I can probably add a little bit more after. So I'm going to add half a cup. Add more ice. I'm going to sweeten the coffee and flavor it, then add the cream. This is two tablespoonfuls of simple syrup, which is just an equal amounts of sugar and water. And if you wanna find out how to make it, just look below. I've got my um, simple syrup. I'm going to add Hedison Classic Vanilla, 10 drops of that. Then I'm gonna add Hedison Caramel, 15 drops of that. 
these two work well together. They're just a great combination. It just adds the extra layer any dessert really needs. I'm gonna stir that all together, okay? And because you're using simple syrup, it's already mixed in. The sugar is already in there. I'm gonna add a little bit more ice because it can handle it. And then I'm gonna add my cream. I suggest starting with two tablespoonfuls of 10% or 18% cream because you'll have that luxurious cold brew that you see in your coffee shops. Oh, how gorgeous is that? You can leave as is, or you can give it a stir. Disturb the magic. Give it a little stir. Ooh, there you go. We've got an epic caramel vanilla cold brew. Oh gosh, I love the marbling. Here we go. It is so smooth. It's not acidic. It tastes like the best cold coffee, but it's not cold coffee, it's cold brew. This is delicious. Cheers. There you have it, easy cold brew. Now that you've learned how to make your own, you can go ahead and flavor it your way. Check out hedison.ca for a full list of flavors and let us know which one's your favorite. Hit like and subscribe. And if you like what you saw, tap that bell icon so you don't miss an episode because we have a lot more recipes coming your way. Thanks for watching. Keep it flavorful. Mm. This is gourmet at home. That is really good. <laughs> that is really tasty. I love the color too. Oh gosh. We should taste this. It's I'm tasty.